got an email recently that it it kind of seemed as if my recommendation isn't raw. So I just want to clear it up. Like the reasons that she points out in this email is exactly why I feed raw. I mean, Jericho already eats homemade raw, prey model raw and whole prey. I get the meats and the organs and the meaty bones at my local farmer's market. And then I get whole prey online from a raw pet food supplier who also sources from local farms. To me, that is ideal because that's as close as we can get to letting our cats just live outside and hunt for their own food. But Jericho is indoor. I don't have access to nice wide range of acres of land. So he's inside. So that's the best that I can do for him. I only talk about commercial cat food on here because you're feeding commercial cat food. And my goal is to get you as close as possible to that ideal diet. I want to help you feed your cats better. So literally the only reason that I talk about commercial cat food is to help you understand more about it. So the first thing that she said is that a certain brand that I talk about, Feline Natural Wet Canned Food, definitely one of the best quality canned foods, but I am not, I'm not saying it's the best that you can do. So she said that it's too expensive. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's cooked, it's pressurized, you know, it's, there's a lot of manufacturing steps that go into the food. Plus, they use better quality ingredients, so that's to be expected. But if you're buying your own ingredients, then you have more control over what you spend. Additionally, when you feed wet canned food, you have to feed more of it for it to be nutritious because it is cooked. Whereas with raw, you feed less because it's fresh and it's raw. It's more bioavailable. There's not unnecessary fillers in it. So you don't have to feed as much of it. For example, a 10-pound cat eating wet food might have to eat up to seven ounces per day. And with raw, it would be around three and a half to four ounces. You're going to save half your money going to raw. So that's number one. Homemade raw is less expensive than commercial cat food. That's exactly why I feed raw. The next point that she brings up is that cat food brands tend to change their formula. So she explained her cat was eating this one food, liked it, and then they changed the formula, and now she can't eat it. This happens all the time, and that's, again, why exactly why I feed raw, because I have control over the situation. I have control over the ingredients. When you're relying on a commercial cat food brand, you don't have that control. And I'd also mention that with AFCO guidelines, they give the company up to six months to change the label. So they could change the formula today and you might not know about it until March of next year. It's September, by the way. <laughs> For example, I mentioned before, Zeely Peak got bought out. So who knows if, if they're going to change the ingredients. And I used to say that that's a good brand to use. And another brand that I would say is a good transition food is Instinct. They recently changed their wet food formula because they're, they switched to a an international packing facility. There are even reviews on the website that say that they changed the formula for the worst. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up if this is helpful so far so more cat parents that want to feed their cat better can find this video. Thank you. And this is a quotation directly from her email. She said, let's sell and feed cats and dogs the recycled garbage. That's, I've always said that <laughs> in other videos. Commercial cat food is essentially a recycling bin for the human waste food industry, especially if you're relying on the lower quality brands, the ones that are made by the same companies that make human junk food, like candy bars and chips and frozen TV dinners. They also make cat, cat food and dog food. So another point that she says is with specifically the brand called Smalls. I recently reviewed this with my mom's four cats because people were asking about it. And I feel good about feeding that brand compared to canned food because it is human grade quality ingredients and it's fresher. However, there, there is a con. There's, I mean, there's always going to be cons when you feed commercial cat food because you don't have control over the ingredients. There's always going to be a con. She talks about canola oil. Yes, I understand. I know canola oil is not good for us. It's not good for cats. I even say that in the video and the article. Canola oil is a big con. There's also a lot of synthetic supplements. There's also green beans. There's a, I mean, these are all things that I talked about in the video and in my review article. But all of these cons are also in commercial canned foods. So again, that's exactly why I feed raw because that's the best way to avoid all of these cons. And she said that one of the best and most affordable raw foods that she's found is Steve's Real Food. And this is a brand that I talk about in multiple videos. In one of my videos called Best 
cheap raw you can buy locally. Steve's is at local pet stores across the U.S. And I agree, it's it's great. And another one of you that has <laughs> eight Maine Coon cats, uh, she was feeding wet food and then switched to Steve's. And she said, I, I never thought that I could spend less on raw food compared to wet food. And the last that we talked, she was feeding Raw Paws pet food. And she said the customer service is much better. So Raw Paws pet food is only available online, but I have a video covering other cheap raw cat food brands that you can buy locally in this video right over Mia. Thanks for watching.